Yeah, nice to see the fans away up the corner there for Belfast with their, their top snow. Nice to see them making the journey over. Always in good voice, of course, the Belfast fans. Well, no, no. First period, yeah. one-one second period, and then two-one towards the end. And as I say, the empty net goal. But yeah, it's a close fought game. It's a fire start with Fox K against Sichetti. Belfast by the looks of it have Mitch Ganzak, Boxall, and Adam Keefe out first. Here comes Paquette for the Flyers. Over the line it goes Sichetti, who uh, is just getting better and better. Nico Sichetti in a Flyers shirt actually. He's yeah, a lot he of is, goals yeah. at the moment. Yeah, Stephen Murphy, a player we know well here in five. Yeah, very well. I've known Stephen for a long, long time since he was a junior. Uh, both at the junior hockey and cross Maloof all these years ago <laughs> and uh, when he played at uh, Kirkcaldy Oh, it's a goal, Flyers! TJ Cake managed to sneak it under the pad of Murphy and it's 1-0 to the five Flyers Well, well, what goal there, it looked like Sajetti stole the puck, broke down the right-hand side and Cake squirmed it under Stephen Murphy yeah. Colin, moving into the Flyers zone, the power play is going to be over Forney now back on the ice for Belfast. He tried to steal that puck away. And again, good play there by Craig Peacock. Brown will cover the puck though. And with six and a half minutes gone, still the Flyers lead by a goal to nil. Raja sends it across. Demery again. Cut out by Ryu in the end. Fox should collect that. Takes an angry swipe at that there, Justin Fox. Back come Belfast again, Raja, Jeff Mason. Yeah, nice pass out to the points here. Belfast keeping the pressure on here. Mason again, Demery oh, shoots good wide. Good shot, good shot. You know, it's like we're under penalty just now. And we've got a... Uh, is that Hain... Uh, who's that? Lost their stick? I think it is uh, Ryu, actually. I think there's lost the stick. Or Tichetti. See, uh, and in a situation... Oh, there's a goal, yeah. Belfast. You know... They lost a goal there, and the defense, the Flyers defenseman lost his stick. Now, no, in normal circumstances, the forward would pass the stick back to the D-man there, and I think he was actually looking to try and get a stick for one of the forwards, and I think he just got caught out of position a little bit there. Flyers come away with it in the end, though. Oh, oh. the linesman just... Yeah, one of these ones, you know, it's difficult for linesman now, because obviously the glass is round three quarters of the surface, and the, the, the place where the puck was there was obviously a team bench, so normally you see a linesman really do try and get out of the way, but on this occasion it stopped a sort of, I would say, a possible breakaway with the Flyers there. Here come Belfast again, good save by Brown. It's loose, Brown collects all before Demeray could get there. Flyers deal with it though, they, they puck out the zone in the end. Belfast trying to tire Justin Fox out there. From Belfast again. Keith and Lloyd are in the middle. That's a flyer, so going to break away here. And that's an offside call. Oh, Darrell Lloyd and Justin Fox here. Well, that's an interesting one. Darrell Lloyd's going to go off for that. So the Flyers will have a power play here. Yeah. One star Oloy goes to the bench. Wasn't a, a great pass there by Phil Paquette? Yeah, it was a wee bit of a slap pass there. And you're, and you're quite right, the, fa the fans' frustration there, obviously it's a power play. They don't want to be in their own end, they want to be in the attacking end. During that time, Belfast have managed to get some fresh legs on, so this is the end of the ice you want to be in when you run your power play. Sachetti has the puck, sends it across, Ryu, yeah! goal, What a strike by Nicholas Ryu! Oh Great bit of play by Nico Sachetti. Teed up that, Nicholas Ryu, what that's a goal! Why, that's why you want to be in that end of the ice. I mean, the, five seconds ago, the fans, like myself, are frustrated because the Flyers are in their own end. They go right up the, up the ice here, get a pass from the goal line back, and a beautiful first time shot in the net. How are you doing anyway? Good. Good, good. Yeah. So how's things? How's injury coming on? Good. Yeah, it's uh, getting, starting to get a little stronger, so right. should be back soon, hopefully. Very good, good. You missing the game? Yeah. A bit yeah. frustrating, been some uh, good games, yeah. Yeah, it's frustrating sitting out and just uh, watching, watching the team play is always tougher. 
than playing sometimes. So. Good. Well, that's easy questions done. I'm going to pass you across to okay. Scott here, and he'll give you the toughy ones. Okay, you bet. Jeff, how are you? Good, good. How you been? Oh, not so bad, not so bad. Yeah. Uh, good game tonight so far. Yeah, it was big. We came out and got the first goal, which I think was huge tonight. After playing last night, you want to have a good start tonight, and uh, I think the boys did a good job of jumping on them and getting the first one. Yeah, the, well, we were just talking a couple of minutes ago. It was a superb power play goal by Ryu. Is that something you've worked on and, and maybe practiced this week? Yeah, we, I mean, we work on the pra uh, power play every week, and uh, they moved it around really well. And, uh, yeah, like you said, it was a really nice one-timer goal. He got it off quick, and... In the back of the net, goals. Definitely a contender for goal of the season, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, and yeah, obviously tonight, Belfast, tough opponents. How, how do you prepare for three games in three nights? It is a, obviously a lot of games and a lot of minutes you're going to be logging over a weekend. Yeah, you just want to have a good week of practice and then you take one game at a time, so you, you try not to concentrate on as a week as a whole, but just one game. And obviously tonight isn't a conference game. Tomorrow night, very much a conference game of against uh, Brayhead. You'll be looking for as a team obviously some kind of revenge for last night perhaps and look to, to make that right yeah a little bit of revenge and we've always played better in, in, in this building so it'll be good to to, to have them here and on uh, Sunday night and I guess two points you know tomorrow night against the Brayhead clan very much keeps uh, the hopes of possibly a conference title alive as well yeah exactly yeah I mean we've done fairly well against the teams in the conference so if we can keep it going that'd be awesome Excellent. Now, um, what about yourself? How, how are you getting on with the injury and stuff? Are you, any news on you coming back anytime um, soon? We're thinking maybe a, one more week or, or two. I'm not sure. It just depends how it goes and how much stronger it gets over this, over this week. Um, I'm starting to do more stuff with it. And uh, hopefully, if uh, it goes well, I'll, I'll be back either next weekend or the weekend after that. Excellent. Well, well, definitely. We can't wait to have you back for the, the run-in for the season, that's for yeah. sure. Listen, thank you very much. Hopefully we'll speak to you again yeah. soon. Thanks for having me, guys. No bother. Thank you very much. <laughs> right, we'll be back with period two action very soon. We're away for a cup of tea, was it? You said coffee. you were going to buy coffee. me coffee. coffee. Mine's a hot chocolate. We'll <laughs> see you after, after we'll the period two. We'll the second period, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Neil Young says that goal alone was worth eight pound. I'm not sure he's talking about Rio's one. And yeah, it's a good goal. Tom and I are watching a game from Ayrshire. Thank you for your kind words about Brayhead clan fans earlier and the broadcast. Not a problem. Listen, we're yeah, playing with everyone. I've here got on the to admit, it's, it's a fantastic. You, you do a fantastic job. I must admit, yeah, the, the atmosphere, the way that the, the, you applaud the team and keep singing, especially that corner. I'm not sure what corner it's called, but it's just when you come in the main entrance to your right hand side. Darrell Lloyd in front of goal, Brown oh, makes the save, yeah, cleared away by again, Muir. Brown there, cleared away. Flyers, you feel, living dangerously at the moment, but they get the puck away. Murphy cuts out the puck. Mike Wilson sends it up to Demaray. Demaray again, another yeah, good, save good save by David Brown. Brown. Yeah, uh, uh, but a good start to the second period by Belfast, and obviously Fife have been under immense pressure this end, and Brown's come up with one or two outstanding saves, so... Maybe the Flyers need to regroup a little bit and break out a little bit more. There goes again, Delahale cut that pass out though. All oh, right in front of goal, Brown makes a save. Yeah. Oh! A few times, so they need to get it out of there and they do in the end. <laughs> good win by Fife on the draw there. Very good win, Cullen's going to go behind the goal here. Oh! Well that looked like another tripping call there, but Cullen seemed to go down when it would have been easier to maybe stay on his feet. Well, Darrell Lloyd breaks away from Paquette. And a goal for great Belfast. Goal. Absolutely great goal. It was goal a penalty for coming up on Paquette anyway. I think it's Colin Shields that got the goal. Belfast yeah. tied this game at 2 2. Yeah, a good play there. Yeah, definitely a good goal by Belfast there. Maybe a bad batch or whatever, but when you look at the teams, most of the guys, all very few the guys, they all play with different kinds of sticks, but very unusual. I think that's the fourth stick I've seen break tonight for the Flyers. I think I'd be sending them back to the manufacturer. The thing is, they're so expensive as well. So fast come again, Brown will make that save. And again, we'll have a face-off in the flyer zone. They had a wee spell in Czechoslovakia as well. Yeah, he was over there for a wee while, so... 
Nice to see him back at his roots. I was going to plug him as a hard worker at work, but I won't go that far yet. <laughs> Don't want to get his head too big, too. <laughs> <laughs> Good save by Brown again. Darrell Lloyd got the shot away. And Mr. Cowan there, I thought, was going to end up getting hit by the puck. <laughs> or someone. Box Hill now for Belfast. Robbed Rio of the puck. Adam Keefe's going to go and collect that. There he is, round it goes again. Rio and Boxel having a bit of afters there. Gar sides. Shot in on Brown, it's going to go, it's Belfast yeah, that's going to get the good goal. goal. yeah. And Brown not happy about something no, there. It, I think I'm, I'm trying to see who the guy was in front of the net. Obviously, he was blocking Brown's sight for the goal there. And he done a good job, he obviously wasn't in the crease. And I think Brown's a little bit miffed at the referee, didn't make, uh, sort of protect him there, make a call there. Beach now for Belfast. Demaray. Back again, Wilson. A clear sight of goal there, good save yeah, by good Brown shot, though. Good save, yeah. As Chris Beach takes a tumble. Danny Stewart standing over him. Now Chris Beach very much standing over him. <laughs> Two minutes, 14 to go. It's going to make for a very interesting period three, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely. And as I say, hopefully Fife can maybe get an equaliser, but they certainly don't want to go down another goal before the end of the second period. But Kyle Haynes seems to have picked up a wee knock here. But it looks like he was hitting the face, accidental yeah. or not, it looks like he was anyone anyway, hitting the face. Let's see what happened there. And Flyers have drawn a penalty here. Kyle Haynes getting involved needlessly, you might say. Yeah, I think he's taking umbrage to the, the, the hit that he got in the referee, never made the penalty, never made the call there, so I think Kyle Haynes will find himself in the box here as well, actually. I think he might. I'd be better. Kevin will take the easy way option and just put the two of them off, along with the Belfast. So yeah, I'll gamble so, right? here, make it a, a four on three. I think maybe not. Just a wee plug for Colin's family as well. He was telling me that his mum and dad are tuned in to watch it in uh, Paisley. So hi to you, Colin and company. Hope oh, you're excellent. enjoying it, and Martin. Yeah. So. Hope to see you at some point. Enjoy the game. So we're back underway here at the Five Ice Arena. Delahaye sends that forward, looking for Sachetti. Didn't quite make it that far in the end. Three to the scoreline. The game finally balanced. Fires are one back into this as quickly as they can in the third. Belfast will look to another goal to give them a bit of a cushion in this game. Haynes now for the Flyers, and it goes. Oh! Dingo there, trying to deflect it there into the net. Danny Stewart. And it goes, oh! Yeah, good shot by Stewart there. Net. And uh, Darrell Lloyd breaks away from Delahaye. Oh! And another incredible save by, by Brown, David Brown. Yeah. Well, here we go, some handbags here. Now, there's a guy that should go straight in the box. Yeah, well spotted there, Mr. Cowan. Well spotted, yeah. Definitely. As he's going to the box for that. I think someone's going to get themselves a misconduct here if they're not careful. See what the Flyers can do on a power play. DJ Cake, Sachetti. And it goes again. Fox, Sachetti. Oh! It's a goal that's been given. Sachetti. Yeah. Equalised for the five Flyers. I didn't think that was going to get given there. I'm going to bonus you. I thought I hit the crossbar. Did you get a better view of that? I thought I hit the crossbar and come out, I must right, admit. Right, right, right. I'm not going to argue with it. No, <laughs> Cowan's right on the line and he signalled for a goal straight away, so... So, Nico Sacchetti, while well, there's discussions going on with the goal judge here, the light went on, certainly. Yeah, a he's signalling a goal, yeah. He 
comes back, though, he's okay. Haynes, good shot again. Murphy well protected in the end by the oncoming Belfast players. Demaray being one of them. A bit of ping pong going on around the Flyers crease. Flyers, though. Well, again, both of them are coming off. And once again, Mr. Cowan's taking the easy option and putting both guys in the box. Keg looking to make some room. Ryu again. Keg. Oh, Sashetti. He fell over his feet there, Sashetti, just a little bit. Flyers keep hold of the puck, though, with Ryan Dingle. Sashetti. Keg. Sashetti. on that or was it Sashetti? I'm not quite sure but Flyers have taken the lead in an extraordinary game here at the Five Vice Arena 4-3 with seven and a half minutes to go well, both teams take an opportunity to talk to the players and just tell them of the game plan that's not the answer to the trivia either Murphy gets pulled that's not, <laughs> that's not the answer either I'll tell you what I've got a stream of answers coming in And the building all of a sudden got very, very noisy. Yeah, we've not heard that roar for a long time, and I just hope the guys could hold out here. Still at a six on four. Fires have a break of the puck here. Going to send that up the ice with 26 seconds to go. Belfast will come again. Brandon Benedict. Inside, Beach takes a long way round. But Demaray waiting, it's off a skate, it's deflected clear. Kyle Haynes is going to try and send that up the ice. Danny Stewart gets a break. Is it going to go in? It's over! The five Flyers have won yeah, the game. Yeah, fantastic win for the Flyers there. By four goals to three, what a noise here at the Five Ice Arena. Yeah, great result for the Flyers. Fantastic result for the five Flyers. Credit to Belfast, he made a game of it as well. So Shishetti gets man of the match. And I know the guy that's presenting man of the match but, uh, quite well. Shoot, Govan, his son played in goal, so I thought maybe <laughs> he would have swung the goal away with it, but no, fair play. So the five Flyers are about to leave the ice then, and that'll do it for tonight for us. Listen, thank you very much if you ordered the webcast. We really do appreciate it. And we'll see you on the 17th of March. We're coming over to Belfast. Yeah, I hope you've really enjoyed it. It's been a, it's been a treat. It's been a, a cracking game tonight. And I hope you've enjoyed it as much as what we have here. Thanks very much. Thank you. Get the Guinness topped up. We'll be back in March. See you then.